लाइफ ऑफ प्रॉफिट मोहम्मद सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम दिस लाइफ इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू नो अबाउट एवरी ईयर व्हाट यू हैव अकम्पलिश्ड सो वी हैव वी हैव अ टेबुलर फॉर्म वी आर गोइंग टू गो थ्रू स्लोली ईच ऑफ द ईयर्स व्हाट यू हैव अकम्पलिश्ड बिकॉज़ ही इज द फाइनल मैसेंजर ही इज द रहमतुल्लाहि अल अमीन अल्लाह सुब्हानहु व तआला हैज सेंट हिम फॉर द एंटायर यूनिवर्स फॉर द गाइडेंस ऑफ मैनकाइंड सो इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू नो अबाउट what he accomplished what he did in his life so i have this presentation with uh, with tabular form you can see that uh, what he have done every year of his life there are 25 prophets mentioned in the quran these are their names this is adam alayhi salam this is idris alayhi salam this is nuh alayhi salam then through nuh we have ibrahim alayhi salam Sali alayhi salam, Hud alayhi salam. Then through Hud we have Lut alayhi salam, Shoaib alayhi salam. And through Ibrahim, he has two sons, Ishmael and Ishaq. Through Ishaq we have Yaqub alayhi salam. Through Yaqub we have Ayub alayhi salam and Dulkifl. And then uh, through Yaqub alayhi salam we have Yunus alayhi salam, Yusuf alayhi salam, Daud alayhi salam and Suleiman alayhi salam. and also we have musa alayhi salam harun alayhi salam ilyas alayhi salam ali yas alayhi salam and through suleiman alayhi salam we have zakaria alayhi salam yahya alayhi salam isa alayhi salam and the last connection through ishmael alayhi salam is muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam these are the 25 prophets mentioned in the quran so we are get discussing about prophet muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam's life exclusively as you can see in the quran his name is mentioned six times directly by his name and indirectly as messenger as you approximately 730 places 697 verses most of the times if you see you most of the times 95% of the times it is addressed to muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that's how we can we can, we can see that how frequently allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talked with him and revealed messages and he he visited these are the places makkah syria taif he went to syria with his uncle at the age of 11 then taif jerusalem alaqaba madina badr wahud hudaybiya khaybar hunain tabuk mina muzdalifah and arafat these are the cities he visited and today we have his grave is in madina so i'm going to talk briefly about each of the places plus each of the years and this is the place of his birth in makkah if you go to makkah this is the place not exactly this buildings or anything but this is the actual location where prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was born and he used to meditate this is mount hira and inside the mount hira we have cave hira on the right side that is the place prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to meditate he used to go over there and spend uh, hours days even together to meditate to think about allah subhanahu wa taala and 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 uh, asking for help asking for prayer then in the year 610 when he was 40 years old the first revelation came in the month of august to muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam at cave hira with a message which is in al alaq verse 1 to 5 basically ekra bism rabbikal ladhi khalaq from allah by the angel jibril the next 3 years the year 610 to 613 his age was 40 to 43 he received several verses during this period he was belittled ridiculed and then prosecuted and physically attacked by the people of makkah for his message message of oneness of allah departing from the traditional tribal ways including idol worshiping at the kaaba because he was asking people to follow islam oneness of allah this triggered all this difficulties for him and he was doing this for the for the next 3 years and then when he was 45 years in the year 615 uh, he asked the muslims to migrate because they were 
being tortured. Those who become Muslim, they are being tortured by the non-Muslims, by the people of Makkah. So he asked the Muslims to migrate to Abyssinia to avoid sufferings and prosecution from the people of Makkah. The king Negas offered asylum to the Muslims. Then in the year 617 to 620, when he was 47 to 50 years, the people of Makkah, they put an embargo and a boycott to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi family by the people of Quraysh. They put him in an area where they could not have any access of anything, no food, uh, no water, all these kind of difficulties they had to face for three years with a lot of difficulties. In the next year, 630, when he was 60 years, many important events took place. As you can see, uh, Abu Qatada expedition took place in January. The victory of Makkah took place in January. The Prophet ﷺ entered Makkah with 10,000 Muslims as followers without any bloodshed. The Makkans joined the Muslims after they saw no revenge and or retaliation. Rather, he announced general amnesty to all the enemies and treated the enemies of the city with generosity. He forgave everybody. When this thing happened, many non-Muslims who didn't hesitate before, they accepted Islam. And Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam went inside the Kaaba, the house of Allah, where there are dolls, and he removed all those dolls, cleaned the house of Allah, and make it the prayer place, around the prayer place, and tawaf for Muslims till the last day of this world. So that took place in that year. And then there are several other small expeditions took place. Nakhla expedition, Khalid bin Walid uh, took uh, took place in uh, in January. Sawab so, Banu Hudayl expedition took place in January. Al Mashal Saad bin Jayed expedition took place in January. Banu Jadhima Khalid, Khalid bin Al Walid expedition took place in February. Hunayn expedition took place with Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the month of February. A Taif expedition took place in February. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's only son, Ibrahim Alaihissalam, was born in the month of March. And Bonu Tamim expedition took place in the month of May. Tabala expedition took place in the month of June. Dahak, Dahak al Kilabi expedition took place in July. Jeddah expedition took place in August. Ali bin Abi Talib expedition took place in the month of August. Al Asadi expedition took place in also in August. And then uh, the king of Abyssinia, King Negas, as we know that he accepted Islam, but he died in the month of October, who gave shelter to the Muslims, who gave asylum to the Muslims. So, a lot of Muslims who were suffering to the people of the Makkah, they took shelter, they migrated over there. And there are a lot of historical facts about his acceptance and he was helping to the Muslims and so good things he did. So he passed away in the month of October and last expedition Prophet Wasallam did was Tobuk, Tobuk expedition. It was a very long journey meeting the army of Romans. It took three months from October, November, December. It was very hot and very uh, hard, difficult, a lot of hardships were involved. And that is the journey Prophet ﷺ personally participated and traveled. No war took place. They actually went and came back. But by their going, Alhamdulillah, a lot of good things happened. A lot of areas, countries, tribes accepted Islam. So this is the last year, in the year 632, when the Prophet ﷺ crossed 62 years. In the month of June, Prophet ﷺ passed away. He was buried in the mosque in Medina. So these are some of his major contributions in his life during the last 10 years. He destroyed the idolatry in Arabia. He raised the status of women to complete legal equality with men. He stopped drunkenness and immorality in the society. He made people live with faith, sincerity and honesty. He transformed the nation from the ignorance of darkness into fully knowledgeable societies. His mission transformed a society from all forms of injustice 
into universal human brotherhood as obedient servant of Allah.